Hey guys, Jared here, Magnetic Men's Club. I am down here in beautiful South Carolina. The purpose of today's video is I wanna to talk to you about can you ever trust a woman? I do a lot of coaching centered around men going through a bad divorce, centered around men who are going through a bad breakup, and I also do a lot of coaching around highly successful men who are so successful in their careers that they just haven't had time to actually go out and find somebody. And so they're in their later years and now they're getting back into the dating market and it's completely foreign to them. And prior to them working with me, a lot of these guys are getting the runaround by what these modern women. A lot of these guys are finding themselves becoming jaded with the current dating market. Maybe you have, maybe you have been cheated on in the past. I certainly have. Maybe you have dated women who have cheated on you and you knew they had a boyfriend or a husband. And so it does look like more women than not are untrustworthy, but that's just really a matter of frame. That's really a matter of perspective based around the women in your orbit. And what I mean by that is, if you are hanging out at bars and you're meeting women at bars, well, I'm not saying there's no ever going to be ever good women at bars. What I'm saying is like attracts like. So the women who like to go to bars, the women who like to interact with men and bars have a higher propensity to not be as truthful as say higher successful women who may prefer to find men in business events because again like attracts like so if it's a higher earner woman and maybe she's a doctor she's at a medical convention and there's some other single doctors the the higher value somebody is Generally speaking, the less time they have to waste on relationships that don't work. And so the whole purpose of this channel is to actually create win-win relationships. I know some of my videos are tilted towards where the man should be of higher quality, higher value, the men should be leading, and that's 100% true, but it should never be at the detriment to women. So the basic question is this, can women be loyal? Can women be truthful? Yes. Can women be untruthful? Can women be unloyal? Yes. Also, if that is true, then what also can be true is, can men be untruthful, unloyal? Yes. Can men be truthful and be loyal? Yes. So it's a matter of your upbringing. It's a matter of your perspective and it's a matter of your environment. If you were in, if a woman was raised by say a single mom and that single mom had multiple different boyfriends throughout this child's upbringing in and out of the house, this child is going to have a different understanding of what love and relationships are than a child who was raised in a two-parent household, married two-parent household. Their perspectives are different. Their life experiences are different. So <clears throat> it may suck that you're in a relationship or you were in a relationship with a woman that cheated, but did you ask the right questions? Did you actually get to know her and look at her backstory? And if you didn't do that and you did what most men do, you just started into a relationship because she was hot and you didn't do the back work, you didn't test her, you didn't um, actually ask those questions, well then it kind of is your fault. I'm a firm believer on the, the women that men bring into their life is either going to increase the man's value or increase the man's status or decrease the man's value or decrease the man's status. So you should never really trust anyone. You can trust people to a point, just like you can trust a horse not to kick you, 
but it's always in the back of the head. That fucking horse might kick me. So you need to do some things around that horse so that if the horse does kick you, it mitigates that pain or mitigates maybe even the kick. Maybe it's the way you stand by the horse. Same thing with the snake. If you see a snake in the grass, when you don't know if it's poisonous, wouldn't it make more sense not to touch the snake? Wouldn't it make more sense to steer clear of the snake until you understand what the snake is? Maybe, oh, it's not poisonous, or I don't know enough about snakes, but the point is there's things that you can do as a man to mitigate the potential harm a nefarious woman has in your life. And a lot of it has to do with vetting them. A lot of it has to do with asking about her past, maybe about her past relationships. Um, again, if she's a single mom, that certainly should raise some red flags to a degree. And she is not a good judge of character in picking men because if the man isn't in the household right now, they're not married, then you have to ask those questions of why. And of course, most women will say, well, he was narcissistic or he was abusive and all this. And then you're like, well, yeah, but you picked him, which then goes back to the question is, you're not a good judge of character. And if you're not a good judge of character, then that goes to a whole host of other questions in the sense of, do I want to bring this type of woman into my life? Dating right now, especially in this modern world that we in, where women have this entitlement mentality, where women feel that their sexual agency never decreases, is hard. It is a hard pill to swallow. Um, there's a lot of pee in the water, but there are a lot of good women out there. You just have to kind of dig through and you can't just judge that good woman on a pretty face. And that's the other part of this is a lot of men were very visual creatures. And so what we do is we look for beauty externally, but we don't look for beauty internally. And I have dated some very gorgeous women who were married and I, I had relationships with them for years and they were absolutely gorgeous on the outside but they were troubled, they were toxic, they were ugly on the inside. Then I've dated women who weren't conventionally as good looking as those women, but they were beautiful on the inside. And so you wanna balance out this beauty. You wanna balance out, of course you want the most beautiful woman you can find, but you have to remember external beauty fades. That internal beauty, that character, that a woman has that was programmed in her very young, hopefully the good, the good programming, that never fades. <clears throat> and so what I invite you to do in your next relationships and you start to talk to a girl is you really wanna start asking backstories. You really wanna start asking her about her father, her upbringing, her relationships. And if it's always negative, if it always comes up where it's always somebody else's problem, then chances are very good you should not trust this woman because she can't trust her own judgment in picking these guys. That's all I got on this one, guys. My name is Jared Schumacher. This is Magnetic Men's Club. If you found this video helpful, please hit like, hit comment down below. I'd love to hear your comments on this and hit that bell icon so you know when new videos are being dropped. With that, have a good day and we'll talk soon.